Sorry I'm late. Somebody gave me the wrong direction. I'm not there. No one gave you a reason to say that. Plus, why would we care? So, you don't mind me doing this? Bitch! <laughs> it's okay, Espio. Besides, we didn't really do anything, we just sat down. So, Tails, we were gonna tell stories. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So, uh, who should we go? Who should go first? Fine! Okay. So, well, I do have a story. Um, today I went to go see The Lion King and, uh... Listen, we've heard this story a million times. God, Shadow. <sighs> Christ. So, Knuckles, you had a story, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so here's how it begins. Alright, this is the story about how Dr. Eggman became the person... of space. Um, uh, big, uh, not to sound rude or anything, but, um, I, I was kind of in the middle of a, a story. There was no reason for you to say that. Yes, I was the horny Johnny bastard. <laughs> I do what I want. I'm the leader of the bunch. You know me well. I'm finally back to kiss your ass. <laughs> you know what, uh, I, I don't feel like finishing anymore. Uh, Tails, do, do you want to go? <laughs> I'd be honored. It involves me going into the world of my little, my little pony friendship is magic. And Tails, no one wants to hear about your f***ing wet dream about my little pony friendship is magic. Well, my story is about Elmo sucking Jack Black's nipples. Hey, f*** you! You got it all wrong, my boy! It was my nipples that were being sucked that day. F*** you, you're just imagining things. I was on Sesame Street that day. You're in Sesame Street? Yeah. You wanna go? You wanna go? No, no. I'm <laughs> you. God bless you. Where's Silver with that damn fourth drink I ordered? Silver! God damn it. This is so heavy to push. Okay, Shadow. What took you so long? Do you not see the size of this f***ing thing? Anyway, I said I want to die. What, you trying to make me die or something? Come on, man! I mean, you asked for this three times in a row. I mean, it's kind of late to be watching your weight, don't you think? <sighs> right. Now. A long time ago, there was a boy named John Connor. And he was protected by an Arnold Schwarzenegger looking guy and he would protect him from an evil terminator that was made from liquid metal hey wait a minute isn't this terminator too fuck you i'm just saying i have a fuck you fucker no one cares about you now here's my story Okay, so, in an alternate dimension, Barack Obama is the director of a movie that involves Sonic 4 episode 89, and in the year 2020-2020, he completely destroys Sonic and replaces it with Link, I mean, <coughs> Keanu, it was okay, uh, by, played by Keanu Reeves, and attacked by a goddamn bowling alley where he's abruptly attacked by the one and only Pothead the Porcupine. What the hell? F you. Now, one job cut later, she uses, she finds a conveniently placed sword on the ground from, of course, Sonic and the Black Dick. Using the truck, she immediately slashes his off. Then, later on, she meets up with incredible, well-developed characters such as the Mexican dogs from the animated Titanic movies, as well as the f***ing rapping mouse from that movie, can have a with him. And we have this racist Omo Chow the Fairy, played by Mr. Free from the goddamn Spider-Man movies, where four seconds later, Link and his company finally meets up with Evil Castle, where we finally meet our main hero of the show, which of course is Dick and Liz from the original Sonic games. And played by Tommy Wiseau and Dick and Liz and Kinnell, they finally decide to battle over a game of Jenga. Where Link wins, but then so spontaneously combusts. Why, you may ask? Because fucking rubber duckies. You just kicked me right in the ass. Nope, I just kicked you right in the testicles. Fuck you. 
with pleasure. But anyway, <laughs> um, who's next? All right then, that was really, really odd. So, um, who wants to go next? Um, may, may I tell a story, Modern? Sure, go right ahead. All right then. Okay, well, this story involves Modern Sonic in a game with a poorly executed time travel plot filled with holes and inconsistencies, along with an overabundance of characters, a broken physics engine, mostly forgettable bosses, this is on mostly forgettable bosses, and a beast reality love story subplot that will make any sane person cringe. Oh, Mark, oh, that shit. is terrible! Wait a minute, doesn't that game exist? Wait, seriously? Yeah, I believe it was like 2006 Sonic or Sonic Anniversary? Somewhere around those two games? I believe it was Sonic 06. Wait, weren't the events of 06 never supposed to happen? Oh, oh shit! Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I love Pico. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm back. <laughs> and it's a... <laughs> it involves me going into my, my little... Not, 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 not. Your version of him. No reason for you to say that, Doctor. Yes, sir. Watch. He says that. And Tails. <laughs> nobody wants to hear about your wet dream about My Little Pony. <laughs> Ellie Blooper. Sorry. Now, time for my story. Just want to warn your children. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it? A hide, a hide, a hide, a hide, a hide, a ho. Oh. You're having too much fun there. <laughs> hey. I'm Jack! The one girl that's watching this video is yes, a one. Wanna see something sexy? Hey, wait a minute, doesn't this sound a lot? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. That's so 1960s. Oh, he damn it. Kicked me right in my horny. <laughs> so, uh, that's quite odd. Right huh? Now, it involves my little pony friendship. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs>